Hey folks, this is Chris with Oregon Figs. It's June 28th, 2023. And I wanna go over um, using spreaders and creating a wide footprint. Why that doesn't sometimes work that well for people. So this is a tree, Roja, that grew with a branch that was very wide. And yes, that gives great sunlight for that section over there. But the results are, instead of having a footprint that's about 20 inches, like it is on this side where it's not wide, it's got a footprint 20 inches between the pots, it's got a footprint now of four feet. And why that is important for people is if you have limited space, you may not want your trees four feet apart. And even with this being four feet apart, this is gonna continue to grow. So it's gonna grow into the next pot and it's gonna shade the next pot. So with the idea that you wanted more sunlight penetration for this tree, you're giving up footprint and it's gonna grow into the next tree, which you're going to lose sunlight penetration as it, as it morphs into just a big canopy. This is why I'm saying that you know, figs are so location specific and they're also specific to individual needs. If you have a huge yard and you're growing in pots and uh, you have plenty of space for your trees, well, in that case, it might not be that important and you could have a wide footprint. That's, this is my biggest fig here. Of course, as you know, I don't use a head start. These are just grown in a favorable microclimate. So let's get back to that. I wanna take you over here quickly on the way by and show you my crows. So that's the date, that 2019 is the date where I started the mother tree. And I think I've gifted around 12 of these trees out. This is a tree I started last year. It's on my rooting fig cutting series. And uh, we're looking at incredible growth this year. It's a, just such a strong growing tree. And it's setting figs, got two feet of growth for, for Oregon, that's incredible. So let's just walk around the deck for a second. And I wanna just explain more about when you're shaping trees, why you may not wanna use a spreader, a limb spreader to spread your trees wider or stake them with bamboo. Beginning of this fig season, I have all my pots outside, and in the beginning of this fig season, I use one half of this deck because that's the best microclimate I have. It's protected from the north wind by the house, and it gets the best sun, so it gets the warmest of any area that I have here in the back of the side of the house. So I was using half of this deck. Now I'm using maybe three quarters of the deck. And that's simply because I've had to space the pots further apart so they don't grow into each other. And um, as the leaves grow, you have to move your pots apart. Now, if you create a super wide footprint, it's gonna be really difficult because you're gonna go from distances, like these distances, what's the average distance in there? Maybe eight to 10 inches between the pots, they're pretty close and they're not touching. None of my trees are touching the tree next to it. And if you touch the tree next to it, that this early in the season especially, you're gonna grow into that tree. So sunlight penetration won't be an issue anymore. You'll be forming a dense, thick canopy. So you're losing sunlight penetration. So though the idea initially of spreading a limb at a more of a horizontal angle like this sounds really good because you're getting more light for storage reasons, it may not work for you. If you're bringing pots out into a big field and you've got a ton of space, hey, you can have eight feet between your pots, grow them as wide as you want. But if you're like most people that are growing in pots that have limited space, you don't want a wide footprint. And uh, 
I kind of keep harping on this, but I don't want people to start messing around with their trees that are just beginners and start trying to grow their tree with a super wide footprint because this is what the results are gonna be. You're gonna lose that space. If your space is a premium, you're gonna have a difficult time uh, messing around with it. Oh, this is kind of exciting. This is Roja from Montserrat Ponds and it actually has a figlet. Uh, also, you see this green growth here? This is just beginning to lignify, but it's still super fragile. You'd never want to put a spreader on something like that. You don't want to spread until your branches are lignified. At that point, you can spread fine. This is the only tree I've ever used a spreader on here on the deck. And uh, basically, it, it grew up in this branch to the left and this branch closest, they were right on top of each other. So I just took a piece of bamboo and I ran the bamboo um, from approximately here over to here after it was well lignified and I tied uh, the tape around the end of the bamboo and just spread it apart and then tied it off in both sections. So I've never bought a spreader, I've just used a piece of bamboo because I've only spread one of these trees. And I think you can see from my trees the overall results and they're they're very good great great air penetration as well another reason um, you don't want things growing too close together is you lose air circulation air circulation is, is key and it's really important if you're in a humid climate because you want that air to be moving and if your trees start growing and just form one big dense canopy well, if you have any kind of pest pressures, pests are just gonna love that. So now you're creating a potential problem with pests as well. So grow with the footprint that you feel you need in your specific situation. Don't just follow advice from somebody saying, oh, your trees are young, you need to jump on this and you need to be spreading them apart when they're green growth. First of all, never spread green growth. And secondly, there is no hurry on any of this stuff. Be smart, figure out what your needs are because I'll say it again and again, figs are location specific. Your way of growing figs may be completely different from somebody growing in another part of the country. What are your ultimate goals and needs? Grow in a way where you can project what your needs will be. And hopefully you'll have a great season filled with figs. And uh, for those of you getting a head start, your figs are further along than ours because you've got a combination of sunlight and heat that we don't have here. We're finally hitting 50s for our lows in the evening. We've been 40s for our lows. Yeah, highs in the you know, mid 80s frequently in 75 to 80, but lows in the 40s. And that's why these figs take longer out here in Oregon because of the cooler nighttime temperatures. You need sunlight, more sunlight, the better. The more spacing and air circulation, the better. Uh, but you need heat to go along with that. So yes, sunlight is important, very important. Heat, you need heat. Don't space your trees with too wide a footprint or you'll end up with tree pots that are that far apart. And if that works for you, spread the heck out of them. Hey, this is Chris. Thank you so much for watching today's uh, video. Uh, I would appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription and hope you guys have a great growing season and gals. Take care now.